Hi everyone, this is Frank Starling. Uh, I just picked up a new backpack off of Amazon and I just wanted to have a quick tour around it. I know whenever I'm looking at backpacks, I always like to check out all the little compartments first. So right back here, there's a main pouch uh, about the depth of my hand, I'd say about seven inches. Um, then there's another little pouch with a mesh liner and that pouch is about the same depth, about seven, eight inches probably. And then you have your main kind of organizational pouch back here with a spot for your cell phone. But I personally use this pouch all the time for my mice. Um, I don't think anyone really keeps their cell phone in their backpack now. Uh, and then two pencil um, pouches. And then back here you have uh, kind of a utility pocket. Um, it's great for storing cords, like the power cords for your laptop. And it's pretty deep. And you can expand the width of it with these little straps right here. And then you also have this little Velcro pouch. It's pretty shallow. I haven't really found a good purpose for it yet. And then onto the main pouch. The main pouch is kind of unique in the sense that um, you, know, you have your typical standard laptop um, storage compartment here. But it's kind of unique in the fact that there is expandable storage down there. So if you take a look at the bottom of the bag, kind of like suitcases, there is a zippable expandable section. So if you unzip this, the bag actually expands a good three, four inches. And so now it's actually really impressive, um, the depth of this bag. I haven't seen anything this deep before in a backpack. So I'd say this is about, about two feet worth of depth down here. And then on the side of the bag, you have your typical water pouch, but um, I haven't really seen this where you have this nylon cord to adjust to adjust the bag instead of like an elastic band securing your water bottle. I think this is actually a good thing because over time I've felt that those elastic bands actually stretch out and then my thermos or water bottle tends to fall out of these pockets. But you have one on either side. You have your typical tension straps on the bag. And then onto the back of it, you have your airflow um, path with mesh um, padding on either side. And then for the shoulder straps, you have this little uh, hook for, it says it's supposed to be for sunglasses, but I found this really useful for attaching a carabiner to it. And if I'm on my way home uh, from work picking up groceries, I'll just load up all the shopping bags on this little carabiner. Um, and this thing feels pretty secure and um, should be able to hold, you know, a good 20, 30 pounds worth of bags. And then you have your uh, chest strap right here. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, I think this is a really nice bag, uh, especially to have for someone who's kind of in, into, you know, IT or into carrying around their computers. This is a very computer friendly bag, a very technology friendly bag in the sense that, you know, it has designated compartments for all of your, um, you know, computer needs, your power cord, instead of throwing it around, I, I would always throw it around in like a main pocket. It's really nice to have a designated pocket for it. Um, I've always liked, you know, compartmentalized storage. That's always been big with me. Um, so overall, I think this is a great bag. Um, this has been really nice to have, um, you know, for kind of a tech guy uh, that, that likes to carry around, you know, a tablet and, you um, a, a computer a PC uh, every day to work uh, and this has really been a nice bag to have um, the downsides of this bag are that I would say the shoulder paddings on it isn't as thick as I would have liked it especially when you're carrying around a lot of gear a lot of you know laptops are pretty heavy and then you throw in a book or two and a you know a tablet and you, you're quickly looking at like 20 30 pounds and these shoulder straps are kind of thin um, they don't they're wide, which are nice, but there's not like a lot of mesh um, padding in here. 
Um, so I think after a while, you know, um, they can become a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so I'm thinking of like other bags that would have like a gel lining within the shoulder straps. That's always been really nice. And I think that's something that would make this bag better. Um, but overall, I think this has been a great bag, especially for the price. And I'm really happy with all the little compartments that it has. So uh, this is Frank Starling. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a good day.